Many times how coaches judge, and the judging has been kind to Urban Meyer, who's 5-0 and versus that school up north. Different story, though, for Jim Harbaugh. As a player, he was 2-0 and as a starter versus the Buckeyes. But as boss, he's 0-2. Chance to change that. In the backfield, they give it to Hill. Tries to push forward. Can he get in? No signal. Touchdown, Wolverine. Play drive covering 77 yards. Michigan eats up five minutes and 46 seconds. Well, there wasn't a lot of room there, but it was just a second effort. They continued to push and push, and then there's Khalid Hill. 27 for a first down. Barrett steps up in the pocket, takes his time, and his sack. Chase Winovich gets to him, but credit the Michigan secondary with great coverage. Second sack of the first. Quarter for the Wolverines. Yeah. Yards deep were sent it away. Peoples Jones back at midfield. And another flag. Peoples Jones makes the first man miss. Gets down the sideline, cuts it inside, still on the move. And finally, Peoples Jones. Wow! Peoples Jones down at the 10. But there is a flag. Barrett dancing Barrett runs it Barrett first down Barrett touchdown Ohio State 21 yards JT Barrett is putting this offense on his shoulders and the Buckeyes finally on the board well look at this right side it's going to break down for JT Barrett and he sees the open grass here and he's going to take off to his right he gets more Evans goes in motion. Here's Higdon with running room. Higdon still on the move. And Higdon breaks free and picks up a big one. Damon Webb finally knocks him out of a play. But it's a 36-yard run. Boy, a great block by the center, Patrick Kugler, number 57. And Higdon turned on the Jets on the outside. Watch the center. He's going to come all the way around. Pull all the way outside, and then he's going to get the linebacker tough Borland. He chops him down. Then it's a one on one with Higdon. And right here, boy, did he stay in bounds? It looked like he did, but it was awfully close and gained some extra yards because of it. Well, they say it's a 22 yard gain instead of 36 because he stepped out of bounds. Michigan with the first down. Barrett to throw it. Barrett, wide open ball, touchdown. Just like that, Ohio State with an opportunity to level this game at 14. What happens here is you're going to get eyes caught in the backfield. You're going to get the safety way off the hash, and then Baugh just takes it right down the middle. He does a great job, and at this point right there, eyes in the backfield. He's beat. Barrett knows it. They give it to Hendon. Touchdown, Michigan. Here from the left tackle, Mason Cole. Watch him. Barrett steps up. Barrett scrambles. Barrett runs it himself. And Barrett goes down. About two yards short of the line to gain. Mike McCoy, excuse me, Mike McCray trips him up. That's a 10 yard gain. Not what Ohio State fans want to see. Barrett reaching down towards that right knee. His back up, Dwayne Haskins. Barrett in some pain. That, mm. that just is not what you want to see. So an interesting twist to this game. The great Ohio State quarterback 13 at the 47. Haskins delivers. And what a catch and what a throw. Austin Mack 
somehow held on. But Haskins put that ball between two defenders. And Kennel is down. Kennel was a safety that came across with the big hit. I mean, just an incredible throw from Dwayne Haskins. This is his skill set. The coaching staff trusted him. Kennel came across for the big hit. Injured defensive player. Leading with the shoulder to the body. Boy, that was just an incredible throw and an incredible impact with Mack and Kennel as Mack went to the turf and held on. Haskins play fit. Haskins in trouble. Haskins decides to run. Haskins with the first down and more. Look at the red shirt freshman come in and play ball. Lavert Hill knocks him out of play, but it's a 21-yard gain. And there's been a few different times when the coverage has been so good down the field, but the defensive backs just unable to come off of their players. And the Dobbins in the backfield. Dobbins. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Just like that, a red shirt freshman comes in the game and leads Ohio State into the end zone for six. High snap, handled, got it up. And he missed it. He hooked it. 2.47 to play. 24-20. Michigan turns back the Buckeyes, and they'll have the football. And at their own 27, play fake. O'Connor throws deep. Intercepted by Ohio State. Jordan Fuller with the ball. And the Buckeyes are out of bounds at midfield. The first turnover of the game. But there is a flag at the 33-yard line. Weber. And Weber picks up a first down. Weber racing to the end zone. Touchdown, Buckeyes. He's got to beat one guy. This is the explosion that Urban Meyer's been talking about with a healthy Mike Weber. You know, against Jim Harbaugh, the Buckeyes, winners of six in a row, 13 of the last 14 in the Michigan Ohio. So congratulations to all you guys undefeated against Michigan. How do you continue to have such success in this rivalry? I can't imagine many people respect it more than we do. Uh, uh, we respect our opponent. We respect uh, how hard they play. And there's one way to show great respect you practice your tail off and get ready for a tough game. I got to ask you about both your quarterbacks tonight. JT wow. Barrett, he makes history. Four wins against Michigan. Then you got Dwayne Haskins comes in. What a performance from the freshman and his composure. What did you make of it? I, I thought it was elite. And I thought our tailback and offensive line, tailbacks and offensive line really controlled the game to go win it. But uh, Dwayne made some incredible plays down the stretch. Do you know about his status, JT's status for next week's not. big game? I do right. not. Thank well, you. for all of you guys, enjoy this. Thank Thanks, Coach. Dwayne Haskins, JT Barrett, the stars of tonight's game. And in this rivalry, JT, I got to start with you. You make history tonight. Four wins against Michigan. I know that it's not the way you wanted to end this thing, but how exciting is win number four against this team? I mean, it's all about winning. Um, I think that's what happens at the end of the day is that the guys put in the work. I mean, we work for this game year round, so it's not like, you know, it's this week, you know, getting ready for the team up north. So with that, the guys, uh, we went to work. Uh, we've been doing it for a long time, and uh, I'm just grateful for the seniors. Uh, I mean, that's five wins, uh, the fifth-year seniors, and then for the uh, other guys, of just four-year guys, that's four gold pants, haven't lost. So uh, it's a special moment. And then how about you, Dwayne? You come in down by six. It's not easy to follow this guy, but you do it. You showed so much composure, and there's a video of you when you're little saying, I want to play at Ohio State. Did the dream come true tonight for you? It is so surreal. I don't know what to say. It's a credit to this man right here. 
ever since I came here as a freshman, you know, it's been it's been on me. And then talking about me a leader, and and I had an opportunity. God forbid he got hurt, but I used the most of it. It's just really a dream come true. All right, and JT, I know for you guys, the goals for this team, Big Ten Championship, you want to get to the playoff, but I got to ask about your status. Is the knee okay? How are you feeling? Yeah, my knee's all right. Um, I mean, it's been uh, happening quite a bit. It's just a little uh, little jerk. It jerked out. Uh, just got to get it back in. It's a little swollen right now, so uh, it'll be all right. With uh, treatment and some things, it'll be, be good. All right, well, thank you guys so much, and we will see you next weekend at the championship game. Thanks so much.